ladies and gentlemen what's going on all right so basically today what i want to do is go through and show you all how to set up tomcat uh, as well as php on tomcat and um, what we're going to do is basically use uh, set up tomcat in a local user directory on linux here and uh, it's and uh, and run it that way so that it basically you can have it set up for you know personalized applications or local area network applications okay so i'm not going to do it strictly like a normal tomcat setup um, per se okay but it's going to go ahead and get you all set up so that you can go through and easily have a nice server uh, running on your local machine for whatever it, whatever purposes that you want either using jsp and or jsf or p HP um, and all that okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is of course go ahead and download uh, Apache Tomcat okay so you just simply go to their home page click on the download version um, which I'm using Tomcat 9 because that's the version that Java or my Java can support uh, and so from there you just scroll down to binary distributions and select core okay go ahead and just save that and I'm saving it to my downloads folder and from there, I'm going to go ahead and download uh, PHP Java Bridge, okay? And um, basically, I'll provide all links that are necessary for you all down in the description or direct you to my personal website with the instructions, all of these instructions are written out so that you can go through to the links there that way as well, okay? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and download these uh, PHP servlet jar as well as the Java Bridge jar, okay? And so I'm opening up in the new directories. And I'm just going to go ahead and select save and do, of course, to the downloads folder. And I'm going to load up this other tab and do the very same thing and downloads folder as well. OK, now also for the, what we need to do uh, set up download wise is go ahead and open up a terminal. And from there, depending on your distribution, uh, you want to do sudo. Uh, and for me, I'm using Ubuntu, so I'm just going to do apt uh, apt dash uh, git and then install. Oop, install, I'm typing in the dark, and php dash cgi, okay? And of course you'll type your password and all that good stuff. And as you'll see from me anyway, I already have php cgi uh, downloaded, so we're very well ready to go ahead and proceed. I'm going to go ahead and open up my down uh, downloads folder here and extract the Apache Tomcat zip file and go into the directory therein and move that directory into another location in directory. Um, it really doesn't matter where you move it to um, at this point, just because of course it's gonna be on your local machine and user and all that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to uh, Tomcat. And I'm just gonna do Tomcat 9 rather, okay? From there, I'm just gonna go back to my downloads folder and delete the empty directory as well as the zip file for Tomcat. And then what we're going to do is move the bridge jar as well as the PHP servlet jar into our Tomcat folder, Tomcat 9 folder. And the location that we're going to move it to is the lib folder, which stands for library. So we're going to go open, go ahead and open that up and drag both those jars into the lib directory. Okay. From there, uh, what we need to do is, of course, modify some configurations so that you have the appropriate user permissions as well as a user profile to do things like manage your web applications or um, manage your host's information for your server, okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and open my text editor, Adam, because it does take a little bit to load. And we're going to, the first thing we're going to edit is the server XML file, okay? And if Adam would come along and open and respond, we can proceed further here. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that. And it's wind up take forever and a decade. There we go. Okay. So the thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and edit your connector uh, information. And I scroll down here. It says, you know, connector. A connector represents an endpoint by which requests are received and responses are returned. Right? So this is where you'll, you will manage your uh, port. So if you want to change it from 8080 to something else, you can do so. And for me specifically, what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and do that as well. So I'm going to do 1120, okay? And I'm going to go ahead, and this is for uh, setting up for your local area network access so that machines can actually connect to, to your computer if Tomcat is running on this specified port. So what you want to do is add ADD uh, RESS address equals and then of course do I'm going to do 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0. Okay? And so what this means basically for 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0, what that means is basically use or have available 
this this server on those addresses. So it will not only be available for localhost, which is 127.0.0.1 or home address, but it's also available for your local area network address, which could be whatever it is, either, you know, 10.10.0.48 10 or something like that or .1.48 or something like that, you know, just whatever your local area network address is, okay? Uh so and doing it 0.0.0.0 makes it available for your local area network on that port. Of course, you will need to set up on your firewall, if you have any, permissions to access that port as well. So you will need to, of course, add those rules as well. But I'm not going to show you guys how to do that um, because you can figure that out on your own. Okay, so once you've set this up, and by the way, you do not need to specify address. You can always just use the local host, if, especially if you're just using a local or you're, you're just to your machine application. If you want to do it that way, you can do so. It doesn't matter. I'm just setting it up that way for convenience sake so that you guys are aware of it and gals. Okay. Okay, so that is set up, and we are now ready to edit or add a user for the for the Tomcat server. Okay, so go ahead and just open up Tomcat Users XML, scroll down, and what I normally do is just take the third option here and copy it, and then move up and paste it. Okay, and then I'm going to change the username to be Tor. Okay, and the password I'm going to be naming it to root. So. You all can use whatever you want to use for this. I'm just making it so that, you know, you're kind of aware of what I'm doing here at this point. And, of course, not, you know, declaring any personal passwords. So, the thing we want to do is actually go ahead and add roles. And so, very much specifically, we're going to go through and add manager GUI and admin GUI. Okay. And that would not work. Okay, that's good. A-D-M-I-N. Okay, so Manager GUI allows you to manage your web applications, and Admin GUI allows you to manage your host information for the server. Okay? Now, it is highly recommended that when you're not using these or whatever, to, of course, remove them, or if you're having them available, only have it for the admin admin user or whomever that you have specified for, for the admin role. Okay? But, um, yeah. Anyway, okay. So now that that is added, we're going to add actually some information so that PHP will be able to work for this application, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up web.xml, okay? And very much, I'm also going to go through and save myself some time by actually just uh, copying and pasting uh, some information from another web XML that I use for reference, okay? And what I'm going to do is actually have, like I said, well, I will have all this information either in the description or my personal website with the t this very tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and click on copy. And then I'm just going to go through and add it over here and make some plenty of space so it's nice, nice and very clear that this is for PHP. And I even added a you know, comment that says PHP for Tomcat. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And we're set to go. Now, before you close out this page, it may behoove you to actually set up index.php um, to be available for um, for your servers or any of your servers, servlets or servers or um, your, your, your web applications, okay? And so really to do that, all you do is scroll to the very end of this file uh, for web XML and you'll see come, or come across something that says welcome file list. And so all you do is copy uh, one of these profiles and add it. And I'm just going to add this to the end here. Control V. And then we're going to, instead of having HTML or HTML, we're going to just type in PHP. And that's not PHP, that is PJP. Uh, PHP. Okay? And so now you can access, whenever it, you see a directory with index.php uh, or JSP or HTML or whatever, it will actually load that application and it will also, you know, do whatever it is that you need to do. Okay? So that's that for configuration. At this point, we are ready to go ahead and launch uh, this application, or rather, a cat, or Tomcat. So go ahead and simply go back to bin. And from here, you can either use the terminal or the GUI to change permissions for executing. This, uh, and I'm in the wrong location here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, make sure that I actually also opened up the correct location here, because I am concerned that I did not edit the right file. Okay, no, I did from the looks of it. I'm going to go ahead and very bottom as well. And I did. Good. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and go to bin. And you will need to change the Catalina either bat or shell file to be able to be executed. Uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do it graphically, just doing, you know, properties, permissions, execute. You can also use just chmod plus x and then catalina.shell. Uh, from there, once you've got that um, set up, simply open up a terminal to the directory. And from there, you can go through, and I'm gonna zoom this in. Um, oh, and one other thing. Did I actually mention, um, yeah, I did, php.cgi. Mm. Uh, boy, I completely forgot if I actually didn't did or didn't mention PHP CGI. But uh, if I didn't, well, okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. So go ahead, and I'm going. Oh, we did do PHP CGI. Good. Okay. So go ahead, and I'm going to do dot slash Catalina, and then I'm going to just do start. Okay. And so you'll go ahead and just press enter, and if all has gone well, you will see that it says Tomcat started. Okay. And so from there, all you have to do is open up a browser and go to the either local host or 0.0.0 .0 .0 or your, you know, your LAN address. So for me, I'm just going to do um, just basically uh, 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 colon. And then I did 1120 from my recollection. I'm just going to go ahead and enter. And it will take me to the uh, Apache Tomcat welcome page. Okay. So we're going to do some um, preliminary just setup and cleanup. And so I'll go ahead and click on Manager App. Okay. And it will load you the Manager application. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the examples. So to do that, just click on Undeploy uh, for examples. Now, if you want to look at the examples, do not undeploy it and go to the location for examples, and it will show you information for those examples. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and undeploy it. Okay. I'm also going to go ahead and open up my uh, file manager here, and I'm going to go through, go back to web apps over here, which is where all your um, web applications are stored, i.e. manager, admin, host, etc. Okay. And so I'm kind of concerned. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, we're going to go through and call this, um, or do, we're going to change root. Okay, so we're going to rename this to um, F2. We're just going to rename this to welcome. So W E L C O M E. Okay, I'm going to add a new new directory, and we're going to call it root. Okay, and um, in theory, if things have loaded properly or done properly, we should just be able to do Control F5, and it will reload appropriately. And we see that the welcome page has been created. And we are missing a root, so I'm just going to go ahead and restart the, um, or stop the application and restart it. And then start. We could probably just do restart as well, either or, but I'm just going to do it that way. And refresh it, and we should now see the root folder back. Okay, now, uh, for the root folder, though, what we're going to do is go to, excuse me, we're going to go to the welcome page, and I'm going to copy the web INF folder there. And I'm just going to move it over to root and paste it. And I'm going to edit the uh, web XML file. And so the web XML file, I'm just going to go through and call this. Uh, so the display name is going to be, uh, I'm just going to do slash and slash. OK. So go ahead and save that. And theoretically, it will probably go ahead and refresh. If I refresh it, it will probably see it. Or that information, I'll go ahead and click on resend. And we do see display name is showing as root. Uh, and then, of course, path is root. Okay, so now we can go ahead and test and see, for instance, if PHP is working. So to do that, just go ahead and create a file and label it index.php. Okay, and when you've created index.php, go ahead and, of course, open it. And I've got my auto uh, complete functionality here, so it's going to go through and create just a simple PHP marker. And so from there, I can just do PHP uh, PHP info, and that will show me PHP information about PHP. And of course, we're going to do a semicolon to make sure that's properly closed. And so when we go back to our manager application here, we can click on the path here, and it will load the path to that web application. Okay, and so as you see, PHP version 7.2.5, and it's giving you all the wonderful information about PHP. Okay, and obviously you would not want to display this to the public um, if you're on an actual server and all that. I'm just showing you the example that it is working. In fact, we could even change this to be e echo, and we'll just do 
hello world exclamation mark. And so from there, when you do echo hello world, and control F5 to reload this to make sure cache is cleared out, you will see now hello world in the page as well. Okay? And this is how you set up a Tomcat server, at least on your local user. Um, 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 yeah, basically on your local user. Normally you would set it up elsewhere physically if you're going to be hosting it on an actual server server, but for your local um, local area network and for personal applications that you're doing web apps for, you know, this is very sufficient. You just, you just store it in a proper location that you want to store it, and then you do all these configurations and you're pretty much good to go. All right, that summarizes how to set up Tomcat as well as get PHP working for it. Thank you very much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, tell me what you think, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.